Unsophisticated Whiskey. Hi, welcome back to Unsophisticated Whiskey. I'm Boogie. And I'm 2 I. Today for you, we're going to review the Michter's Barrel Strength. Bourbon. Bourbon, yeah, yeah, there, there we, we go. go. I couldn't ever, I can't ever spit it out. <laughs> I always get sidetracked for some reason. Ah, got this one in Kentucky recently. Yep, this is this year's release, 2023. Um, I look for reviews online. I haven't seen any. Uh, we're going to crack it today. We're going to crack it. That is uh, 108 proof. Pretty low for barrel strength. I feel like all their stuff yeah, is, I mean, it's is low. Kind of a mixer thing. Oof. Right? Sounds like a creaky old door. All right. Never tasted Mixer's Barrel Strength bourbon before. No, I've had the rye. Um, I've had the 10-year rye. I've never had the Barrel Strength or the 10-year bourbon. Oh, look oh, at that. That's a good no, one. No, buddy. That was a good one. Let me get a little that. Chocolatey. All right. Well, since I spilled some for the table, as mm -hmm. usual. Well, never had Mixer's Barrel Strength bourbon. Never drank out of a mini glen with a... Yeah, a stem. A stem. We're fancy it's today. A pursuit Palooza. We are sophisticated whiskey today. I guess besides what we're wearing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Need a little necktie. <laughs> Shout out to that lady. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> It's weird because I think barrel strength, and I'm like, why isn't it punching me? You right, know? But and it's barely barrel strength. I feel like that's just. I don't know. It's like fruity chocolate to me. Like if you had like a. I get like a chocolate, a, a chocolate covered cherry, but not not like a cordial cherry with the stuff inside. Just like yeah. literally like a cherry covered in chocolate. It smells pretty good though. Yeah. Um, there's some some kind of woodiness. I don't think it's oak. But there's some like deep wood. It's gotta be oak, right? I, I would assume. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not typically what I would get off an oak, I feel like. Sawdust finished. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, it smells right. pretty good. I wouldn't say I love the nose, but it's it's above it's average. Right. Yeah. Well, let's have a swig. Let's have a loose hair. So this bottle was 120 bucks from the distillery itself. They made me buy a small batch with it for another 55. So I got. Hit basically 185 bucks to buy both of them. Super thin. Does that remind you of a different distillery? And the taste on the palate. That's nice cinnamon on it. It tastes like, like a wild turkey. Yeah, <laughs> it tastes like a turkey product. I mean. Like a little more concentrated turkey, like a wild turkey 101. Which... It's a little deeper than that, but... I feel like it's much sweeter. And that cinnamon note is a lot lighter. There are some nice spices on it, though. I don't know the mash bill on this. I've never yeah, really Mictors looked into Mictors like that. not transparent right. about anything. anything. No, they they've don't got, say they're mash They've bills. got like six skews. I feel like besides like their big boy bottles the 20 and the 25 so you figure you got Their American whiskey this the rye sour mash. the sour mash and then they have a Toasted of each of those right or just toasted bourbon. barrel strength rye toasted barrel strength bourbon bourbon It's not barrel strength. It's just toasted bourbon, right? Toasted sour they, mash. Oh, did they do the yeah, toasted sour uh -huh. mash? Okay, and then they have this in barrel strength and they have the rye and barrel strength. Then they got the 10 and your bourbon and rye. And then the big boy bottles, the 20, 25, and the celebration. So they don't have that many SKUs for a gigantic distillery. 
And I don't think I don't know if gigantic would be the word to use for that. I mean, they're a they're a player in the game, though. I mean, let's say I've had a bottle of the regular bourbon. Dude, uh, not a fan. Just not impressed for the price. I'm getting like a salami. Salami. Some kind of meat, like Danny Boy always says steak, but it's like a. A deli meat. Man, I'm glad I'm not getting that now. <laughs> Dude, I don't want salami whiskey. There's some kind of meatiness on the nose. I'm just stuck on that chocolate cherry, and it's got like a little bitter note on the nose. It's really thin. You think barrel strength. You think something that's going to pack a punch. I'll go ahead. This is good whiskey. It's good. I don't know if it's... $120. I mean, it's $120 because of the rarity. Right. That's the only reason why. I mean, if this was a $65 bottle, yeah, it'd, it'd, be a, it'd be a win, you know? Right. $120. I'd have to agree with you on You know, it's, it's a little rough. You're going to buy it because you're there, and, you know, that's what you're there to do. And uh, if you've seen it anywhere for that price, I think anybody's going to purchase it. See, now, like, going back to the nose, it's more nutty i don't know dude it it does have like reminiscent of wild turkey it's weird yeah for sure it's not what i was expecting but i don't know i have a bottle of the 10 year rye from 2020 i believe let us know in the comments if that's a review you'd like to see we've been snoozing on that one it's a couple years old but i mean it'd still be yeah. Um, yeah, I'm ready to get into the rankings if you are. Yeah, bro, go ahead. What do you got on I'm the nose? Six on the nose. And I think that's right where I'm at too. I feel like it's pretty complex for a nose. Um, I'm getting a lot of different smells coming out of it. Um, I'm gonna go five on the palate. I'm gonna go six on the palate. Yeah. Yep. I mean. It's okay. I don't think it's anything special. Yeah. Um, That's good. But it's probably like six years old, seven years old, maybe. Eight yeah, I don't at know. The like, most. I wish Mictors would tell us. Right. I don't understand why they don't. <laughs> There's no transparency like T.Y. was saying. I don't get it. Why wouldn't you want your clientele to know? Because then they couldn't sell over 120 bucks. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, I'm going to hit the, the finish with a four, dude. It's uh, just not there. Uh, I'm... It's not four. I was gonna. I'm gonna hit it with a five. I'm being a little, just because of the price. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's a four. I didn't have to pay for it. So the price is yeah, that yeah. bad. So you want to add us up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at eleven plus. I got fifteen. Five. I have sixteen. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. That's Thirty-one good. out of sixty. But you, you know, which isn't a bad score. Uh, it's also not a great score. And for 120 bucks. You know, we've had fifty dollar bottles that have done better than this in the ranking. I feel like. Oh yeah, I mean, it's good. Yeah, there's a lot of bottles much cheaper than this that I'd rather drink. Right, but I will say <laughs> this: it's a great Mictor's Pock because I prefer this over the Barrel Strength Rye. Uh, I agree. There's some funky, um, funky notes on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that I can't get over. I would say that this is. A lot better. It's just a really easy drinker. Um, I feel like we, we could crush this bottle. Yeah, it's good. That's like putting a flask and bring to a summer party, you know? Okay. Or sneak it into the baseball game or the... The, the future football game. I'm about <laughs> to be coaching for my kids. <laughs> Wanted to pull my the rest of my hair out. <laughs> but what, uh, what hair? Right. But we're on Sophisticated Whiskey, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Yep. Thank you. Peace. Have a great day. Making booze reviews doesn't need to be complicated With a snooty attitude that'll leave the viewer frustrated So join to I and Boogie as the whiskey gets evaluated And I promise that they'll always be unsophisticated 
unsophisticated.